So a lot of people, including my business coach and my business partner, told me not to make this video. It's just giving way too much away. Guard that, Frank. It's a bunch of liberal bullshit. But I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. So today we're going to talk really about like the next evolution of AI. And I don't mean that in theoretical terms. I mean next evolution of AI in your use for it. Obviously, my main focus with all of this is practical application. Using AI to get shit done. Not using AI to seem like you're cool to make like these stupid fucking posts on Instagram where you're really just talking about something someone else did, but you've edited it well so people follow you. Everything I talk about here is just to help you make more impact in your life, in your community, in your gym, in your business. What I'm going to show you today is how to build a GPT to handle a specific business function. And the example we're going to use is a macro calculator for clients. So we've been using this as soon as ChatGPT rolled out. I built this. We use this every single day. It's a macro calculator for our clients. We have about 100 clients here, varying degrees of need with nutrition. Really, there's one degree of need with nutrition. Everybody needs more and needs more accountability. There's varying needs of what people are willing to admit and what people are willing to do in order to reach their goal. But that is not what this video is about. Although if I rant, I don't apologize. It's just, it is what it is. So this macro calculator, what we enter is the client's current statistics, where they wanna be, the timeline, and the GPT just spits out something that is ready to copy and paste into an email so that when a client needs a new macro profile, new macro, whatever, new macros, we just enter their information in. This does the work for us. And then we can just copy and paste it and send it off. Now, with all this stuff, with the focus of helping you make more impact, with the focus of helping you provide more value for your clients, this is going to be up to a high standard. This is not going to be some shitty online macro calculator. I'm going to give you the exact prompt you need to create this, or even better, I'm just going to give you the link in the description of the one that I've made, and anybody with the ChatGPT Plus membership can use it. So building a GPT is a very simple process. In order to do it, like I said, you need a ChatGPT Plus membership. Just assume that that's the first step for every single thing I show you on this channel. What we're going to do is we're going to log into ChatGPT, and we're going to go over to this left-hand side. You're going to see this button down here with this weird little icon that says Explore GPTs. We're going to click on that. That's gonna bring up the GPT menu. There's all sorts of stuff in here, all sorts of garbage, all sorts of useful things. Let's be perfectly honest. Most of it is not useful for our business. Most of it is not useful for you. What makes things useful is the personalization of information you put in and also the standard to which you hold it. So we're gonna to go to create right here. So building a GPT is really simple. After we've clicked that button, it's gonna take us to this screen right here. As you see, I went into the configure button first and just gave this thing a name and a description. Macro calculator calculates macros for clients. We're gonna go back to this create side. This is where, what's great about personal GPTs, this GPT builder is, it's very much like a conversation. You tell this thing what you wanna build and it's gonna actually respond to you and ask the relevant questions so that it can get the data it needs in order to build the thing that you want so that you can get the output you need. Now, when it comes to building chatbots, comes to building personal GPTs, I'm gonna tell you about my MBA formula. What everybody thinks about chatbots is wrong. People think if they just upload their website, it's good. It can answer questions and yes, it can, but answering questions isn't, isn't good enough for this technology. Artificial intelligence behaves very humanly, but in order for it to behave to the standard that you want so that it can actually like replace the tasks that you need to be replaced, you know, customer service, talking to leads, things that just take a lot of time, you need to build it the correct way. And you need to think of it like directing a human. Now I'm lucky that I've worked as a coach for 12, maybe 15 years at this point, I don't even know. All I do all day, every day is use language to change behavior, use language to dictate behavior. And that is the best skill you can have with these large language models of AI, using your language to dictate its behavior. Now my MBA formula is that the bot's motivation, its behavior drives its action. So the action is the output that you want. So in this case, we want a macro profile based on the information that we enter. That means that the motivation for this bot is to follow the specific guidelines that we set up, to follow the specific calculation that we're gonna give it so that it provides the output of scientifically sound macronutrient recommendation. Its behavior is how it's gonna go about it. So we're not just telling this thing, hey, make macros. You need to think of this like teaching somebody how to ride a bike. You don't just give them a bike and say, ride it. You build training wheels. You tell them to get on. You say, grab the handles. Put your butt on the seat. We're going to push forward. You're going to spend a little bit of time teaching them how to push the pedals. It's a step-by-step -step process in which you need to motivate them, show them the behavior, and then eventually you're going to get the action or the outcome that you want. AI chatbots are the exact same thing. And if you can build it a very well, high-functioning AI chatbot, you can get done a lot of things. You can, you can auto, almost automate your entire business without losing a step and without losing the standard that you've set. So again, coachclone.ai to see that stuff in action. So with all those things in mind, we're gonna enter the prompt for setting this up right here. So the main instruction for this that's gonna cover that motivation, that behavior, and that action is 
You will create macronutrient recommendations for the information entered. Use the Mifflin GR calculation and assume moderate activity level. The user will provide current weight, height, age, gender, goal weight, and the timeline in which they want to reach that goal weight. Provide your answers in this format only. Total calories, total protein, total carbs, total fat. Do not explain your calculation. Only give the final macronutrients and one sentence of advice. That last part is very important because much like the person you're watching on camera right now, ChatGPT can be very verbose. It will talk forever. It will explain every single intricate detail of the calculations for these macros, but you don't want that. You already understand that. All you need is the data to save you time. So once we're here, we're gonna click send message. We're gonna see if the builder comes back with anything at all. And then we're gonna test this thing out. Perfect, so if you see if it asks to name itself, that means that it has all the information that it needs to build the thing. So we're just gonna say, we're good, thanks. Let's get started. This is kind of a little personal thing. I'm always very polite to ChatGPT because I've seen the Terminator, I've seen Ex Machina. I just wanna be on the good side when these things eventually take over. So once it's done that last little bit, it's, it's given itself a name and a picture, you're gonna hit save. Now this option is totally up to you. If you hit everyone, this is gonna be in the public GPT store. I don't know anybody that actually uses the GPT store. People make things and use it themselves. Anyone with a link so you can share it with you, your coaches, your clients, things like that, or only me. Option is totally you. So I'm, with this one, I'm gonna just do only me. Actually, no, I'll do everyone. We'll put this one in the GPT store. We'll hit confirm. It's gonna save itself. And then it's gonna take you right here to the screen. So like I said, GPTs are made to save you time on performing tedious tasks. That's the best way to use them. So we're gonna create a fake client. We're gonna run them through here and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make the macros. So let's say, so we're gonna make up a client. We're gonna say, I need the macros for a 50 year old man who weighs 225 and wants to weigh 206 months. He's six feet tall. We're gonna press enter and we're just gonna wait. So as you see right there, our instructions, we gave it the right motivation and the right behavior. So it came with the right output, the right action. It gives you the exact calories, protein, carbs, and fat for our ideal client, our made up client who wants to lose 25 pounds in six months. So I've also told it to provide one sentence of advice. It gives you just a generic piece of advice. A balance reduction in calories with a focus on protein can support muscle maintenance while losing weight. That's something we should all really agree with as fitness professionals. All you have to do now is copy and paste this and send it in whatever format you want. If you send clients texts, if you send them emails, whatever it may be, but this just cut down a whole bunch of your time because you don't have to go find an online calculator. You don't have to enter things in different boxes. You just type one sentence in and your personal GPT does all the work for you. And it was done in what, like six seconds. If you really want to get a lot of things done at your standard, if you really want to actually use AI to grow your business, this is the way to go about it. And I want to tell you about two things. The first thing is my free AI domination webinar. The link is right below me. It's a totally free 35 minute webinar that's going to run you through how to create amazing marketing, amazing blogs, amazing social media content, amazing Google business profile posts, as well as meal plans, and then how to provide a ton of value with, with those meal plans for your clients. So this webinar is going to cover everything. There's 14 PDFs in there, but they're not like theoretical PDFs. There are 14 PDFs full of actionable steps that even if you ignore the 35 minute webinar, you can copy and paste what's in those blueprints and you will be so far ahead of AI than all of your competitors. So if you're really serious about getting things done, click that link, sign up for the webinar. You're going to learn more in that 35 minutes than you've learned in like the last two years about AI. My focus with AI is saving you money and saving you time, but doing it ethically. Using AI to magnify and multiply our skills, not using AI to bullshit people. Don't think of AI like crypto when it first came out. It's a get rich scheme. There's all sorts of scammers and stuff around. AI is just a business tool. AI is the best business tool that's ever been created and it's not going to go anywhere. AI is going to be involved in every single process that we have in the next two years. It's gonna be involved in every single piece of software, every single CRM, everything you touch that is on a computer is gonna have AI built into it. So if you take the time now to master it, you are going to be ahead of the curve when you have to use it. You're gonna be ahead of all your competition and they're gonna be slowed down trying to master AI. If you take the time right now and it takes you less than the time to do a training session, sign up for the webinar. You will master all the skills that you need to one, make more money right now, save money on paying people to do things for you. And you're just gonna learn how to get things done with AI. So the prompt that we use to create this is in the description. The link to this GPT is also in the description. Use whichever one you prefer. And if you have any questions at all about anything, drop them in the comments below.